Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you probably one of the biggest updates Squarespace has ever had, Fluid Engine. It is a whole new way to edit content on a page. We are going to be walking through Fluid Engine at a very high level and dropping a lot of videos on how to create an amazing site with Fluid Engine on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to learn more and check the links down in the description because I'm gonna do an in-depth walkthrough on Fluid Engine and how you can use all the tools for your site. So first of all, if you are a Circle member, you're gonna have access to this right now. And if you don't, you should have it soon. They're gonna be releasing this to all 7.1 websites. If you're on 7.0, I don't believe they're gonna be launching this on 7.0. If that changes, I'll leave it in the comments below. But for now, I know for all 7.1 sites in a few months, if not sooner than that, this will be live for everyone. Okay, so let's take a look. If you're a Circle member, you just go to settings, Circle Labs, and once you do that, Fluid Engine, just click that on and hit save. Then you can go into the editor and start working some magic. All right, so let's go back. Now let's take a look. The way this works is Fluid Engine works per section. So they'll give you like a full walkthrough and guide, which I'll take you through right now so you can see it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit add section and then I'm just gonna add a blank section and then we can go from there. So we have this new section here. You could already see there's this new like block here and this, this is already using the fluid uh, engine styling. So if I hit edit section here, you'll see this is the formatting. Now take a look at this. You see all these little boxes and setup and there's a gap and then this grid. This offers a lot of potential because you're basically working off of a grid format without the limitations of what you needed to use before. So before you needed spacers and the grid was just so limiting, but now you could actually customize the grid, the length, the height, everything in between, the spacing in between the size of each one, this is incredible. If you look at any kind of design systems, they all use grids. And so I'm just messing with stuff right now. These aren't the numbers I probably use. It's viewport. Oh. All right, height, small, medium, large. This is pretty normal, we remember this. I'll do that for now. Background is the same, color is the same. So I will leave that for now. But let's get into the editor. So the way the editor works here is you hit add block and then you would come in here and add what you like. Once you add it in, you can start writing. Let's do this. I love this. I've never seen a text block have additional options. You could change the background on it though. That's great. Okay, so just for now, let's do this. Welcome to the site. And then I'm gonna make this large text, I'm gonna make it H2. Then you can come in here, you see the grid disappeared. But now once I start moving, the grid comes back, boom, like full control of the design editor. Like this is incredible, literally incredible. And so I could take this whole box and I can drag it over. Let me do that. I could place it exactly where I want. The blue line in the middle shows you what's center. So I can do that, I can take this, make it center, boom. This new feature too, this is not just for Fluid Engine, but this scale, the text, like is gonna be incredible. Right now, I haven't used it yet, but it scales the text with the size of the section, which is just like a whole nother world, a whole nother world. But for now, let's focus on this. Now, below here, let's say I want to add a button, but I want the button to overlap. I don't want the button to just kind of like hide or disappear. Well. I can do that. And then if I want to like, what is this? Oh, this is perfect. So it's the different sections, but let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna add another button. And then this button here is not gonna be a primary, it's gonna be a secondary. Oh, I don't have the settings set up. Let me just do secondary for now. Make it larger again. For now, I'll do that. Put that there, put Let's just even this out a little bit, guys. All right, there we go. This secondary button I do as an outline button, boom. And now I'm able to like design this. Now there's a spacing issue here, what's going on? Okay, that is great. I'm gonna move the button down, move this button down. Beautiful. 
So I just have so much more control than what I used to have before. Fluid Engine is literally next level. This is gonna take us to a whole new world um, of design. I just think Squarespace is gonna be amazing. Now, I could sit here and design stuff all day and show you, and I will as I get further into this, but here's a couple tips. For new designers, if you're designing your first website, Fluid Engine is gonna be a bit of a headache because if you don't know how to design a site already, it's gonna be a bit of work to get comfortable with it. Overall though, it's a really amazing tool for certain sections. So you don't need everything to be operating under Fluid Engine. And it's actually cool that it doesn't have to work that way. Because if you go back here to this section, you could see it's the plus signs. So I can go into this section here and say convert. And then I convert that into a fluid section. And then from there, I can make edits. Now let me see, it doesn't look like it gives me control to go back <laughs> if I don't like it, which is a bit of a bummer, but mm, at the same time, it's not the worst case scenario. If I hit the back button before I hit save, it worked, it took me back. So that's helpful. But overall, look at the potential of this. Like this is literally incredible. The only complicated part too, again, for those new, like if you're designing a website for the first time is gonna be, if you go to mobile, you'll see it laid out really nicely here, like really nicely. And I'm actually quite impressed, um, but you would probably have to control this at some regard as well. And this is where I think there's magic here because check this out. Now I'm gonna, I'm just actually gonna, I'm gonna leave this. And I'm gonna do one other thing. I'm gonna add a few sections here and then I'm gonna come in here. This is so cool. Okay, so I can't add, I can't add a block in the mobile viewing, but if I come back here, add a block, I'm gonna add an image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the image down here. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna make it really small. See, before in Squarespace, you couldn't do this. And the reason this is valuable is like, if you need a small icon or something, you can easily control it. But then if I come into the editor here, it gives me the opportunity to control it and just make it the exact size I want. So if I want to upload like a small little icon, like a cool little graphic, I can do that. I remember seeing a site recently that had this. So here's a great example. This is a website called circuitwriters.com. You can see here, this is like not the best because it's just a fake like mobile design. Let's do iPhone 12 Pro, make that adjustment. Did it change anything? It didn't. Let's do Pixel 5, change a little bit. I think it's throwing it off just a tiny bit, but let's do the iPhone 12 again. Um, the graphics, like you could have little images like this on your page where before you could never do that in Squarespace by default. And so now you have this control feature, this new level of engagement that you can do on the website um, that is just beautiful. I could have a little image here and then I could have another one next to it, not a big deal. I actually really hope they add the copy and paste feature here. That would be amazing. Um, so you could like click on an element and hit copy and paste. But hey, I can have that element there, put it and and change it around on mobile. Cool part here too is I can have it right here on this and then let me go to mobile and it stays where it is on mobile. Did you see that? That is so impressive. So it can literally be up here for desktop and then if I want it on mobile, I could have it down here, full control. I don't see anything that says like hide on mobile or hide on desktop, but this is amazing. Like this is really cool. Again, let me just come in here, add another block. Let me add like a gallery and see what this can look like. Let me see. So I can just, there's just so much control. Wow, okay. So let's just make this smaller and make this smaller here, move it up. It just grows as you go. So let's do that. And then boom, literally I could just throw this anywhere and whatever the functionality is of the block, it can operate there, which is great. Let's align vertically. Oh, this is great. This is so good. Okay, this is a really good user experience. I'm like very impressed. Very, very impressed. The gallery is here. I don't know why there's a lot of extra space. I'll just do that. Perfect, got rid of it. 
and then go back to desktop here. Again, it keeps it. Um, this extra space here, I can get rid of, can get rid of, cool. I could bring it up to there. So boom, that is now the intro section. Look at that. Now, obviously this isn't the best design, but this is also why I said earlier, if you're a brand new designer, I try to stick with what Squarespace gives you out the box. Like initially in a few months, this is gonna be really well developed. If you are a designer, this is gonna be a huge upgrade for you. In my personal opinion, I imagine I will use this for like 30 to 50% initially, 30 to 50% of sections. The other 50% I'm gonna keep very basic and clean because when you start to do a lot of overlapping and a lot of different like cool tricks, well, the consistency gets a little bit funny. So this is a way to keep the site consistent but then still add a nice touch and flair. I mean, this section here already, in my opinion, can be so cool because I can add in photos in the background. So I can move this back, let's move it back, cool. And then add in an image. Let me just go to select from library. Cool, let's just use that, boom. Beautiful. So that image is just living there. Design-wise, fill space. Oh, this is great. I can make this a full circle. Like, I have so much control here on how I want this to show up, what I want it to do. Let's see. I want to get rid of this, so I'll toss this. Boom, good to go. Like, there's just so much control on what I can do and how this can look and how this can feel. Oh, this is amazing. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna hit save. The other thing to consider when you have Fluid Engine on, it does not work for everything. And what I mean is, let me go to like shop and take a look at these pages. So I think I could come in here to the overview shop page. Let me hit edit. Yes, so it allows me to convert the sections, but when it comes to actually the, the products and the posts, uh, the products inside of a shop, or a blog post inside of a blog, you cannot use Fluid Engine there. So I can't customize this page at scale the way I could do it with other pages with Fluid Engine. So just bear that in mind. Any type of collection outside of a portfolio, so events, blogs, and uh, shop, those for sure require you to still use the old version of editing. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.